Hello, boys and girls, and welcome to How to Draw a Bunny Rabbit with Mrs. Palmieri. Let's go ahead and get started. So all you'll need for this project is a blank piece of paper, a pencil, and then after you're done with your drawing, I would like it if you color in your drawing and add maybe a background using whatever you have at home. Crowns, colored pencils, markers, paint even if you're allowed to use paint. But I decided we should learn how to draw a bunny today is because it is springtime and bunnies and rabbits begin to have their nest and get ready to have their babies in March and all throughout spring. You might notice bunny rabbits coming out from under their tiny nest that they bury a little underground. And so bunny rabbits are actually a sign of spring. To start our drawing, we're gonna start in the middle of our paper, a little bit higher up in the middle. We're gonna draw a big half circle, almost like a hill. This is gonna be the top of the bunny's head. Then we're going to draw almost like a big letter C. This is T. On this side, he needs a cheek as well, so it's almost going to be a backwards letter C. That kind of the shape of the bunny's face. Then we're going to draw the bunny's neck below it. It's going to start to go down and kind of curve as it goes down. It's like this very fluffy. And then this part of its neck. We're gonna do almost another backwards C. We're gonna kind of curve down as we go and do another kind of bump there. So now I've got the head of the bunny, kind of the outline of its shape. Next we need to do its big ears. We're gonna do one ear up going towards the corner of our paper. So we're gonna start with a line that's going up, up, up to the corner of our paper. So we've made one line, kind of a diagonal line. Then we're going to kind of make a curve because we don't want the bunny ears to be too pointy. We don't want it to look like a triangle. We're going to kind of curve at the top and then bring it back in towards the bunny's head. We need this to be a long kind of oval shape, almost a teardrop shape. It needs to connect back to the bunny's head at the top. Now, wild bunnies can have ears that stick straight up, or they can have ears that flop down and they're floppy. So, I decided for this project that I would do one ear sticking up and one ear flopping down. That way, you can decide at home if you want your bunny to have floppy ears or ears that stick up. So, for a floppy ear, I'm going to start making a diagonal line, but I'm not going to go all the way to the top of the paper. I'm going to stop about halfway, and then I'm going to start curving down. This. Again, it's kind of a hill shape. It's a little bit pointier. And then now what I'm going to do is this is going to be the bottom of the ear. This is the point of the ear. So I'm just going to curve back this way. So it goes back towards the head. And I'm going to add this line here, line here so the ear is all connected. All right. So again, we kind of made a diagonal. Going up, but then stopped. We went down because the ear is flopping down. But then we have to go back towards the bunny's head because it has to all be connected. So next we're going to draw the bunny's eyes. And just kind of like human eyes, we're going to draw almost a football shape or a leaf shape. So we're going to start towards the middle, but not directly in the middle, right? Our eyes aren't in the middle of our head. We have a little bit of space, same as a bunny. So we're gonna start kind of a little to the side, right along here, right along the top of the teeth is where I want the eyes to be. And I'm gonna draw a half of a circle there and then complete the oval shape, that kind of football shape for its eye. Now the tricky part, trying to make kind of a similar shape over here. Trying to make it look like these masks. So next we need to outline where the nose and mouth are going to go. And I'm gonna draw kind of a very light letter C right here. And another light one over here. Like that. 
Then for the nose, we're actually going to draw a letter Y. Sounds like a capital letter Y right there in the middle of the bunny's face. And then for the bunny's mouth, we're going to just do a little curve. You can make it look kind of like your bunny's smiling that way. You know bunnies don't usually smile, but I think it looks nicer if it's curved, almost like a smile. So it's going to be two little curved lines out from underneath that Y shape that we just made. Now it looks like our drawing is mostly done, ready to start coloring in, right? When we're coloring in its eyes, its eyes are actually going to be mostly black or brown. You might want to do a little circle that you're going to leave white because when the sun is shining on our eyes, it makes a little reflection. And that reflection just kind of makes it look shiny. And so that's why sometimes I'll leave a little dot inside the eye that's going to be white. So you'll start coloring in eyes. Again, they could be all black or they could be black and brown. Bunnies have dark colored eyes, usually. One final step before you start coloring this in is to add three whiskers on each side, which are just going to be lines sticking out right here. Make sure you do that on both sides. And then now, this part I want you to take a lot of time on and really focus on is coloring in your bunny. And I want you to try to color in your bunny and show its texture. So texture is a word that means how something feels. Now, when I touch this paper, it just feels like smooth paper. But we know that if we were to touch and pet a little bunny, it would feel super soft and furry. So we as an artist have to think, how can I show someone that this bunny is supposed to be fluffy and furry? So the way that I'm gonna show texture on my picture is I'm gonna use a marker to start coloring in this bunny. I decide I wanna color him in light brown. And I'm gonna show that he's fluffy and furry by drawing individual lines that show all the fluff and fur on him. So when we think about our hair and when we think about fur on an animal or hair on a person, it's all these tiny little pieces that come together, right? All these little lines, all these little pieces of hair. So I'm drawing all those little pieces of hair on the bunny as I'm coloring him in. And that's what's gonna make him look really, really, really fluffy. I like to do lots of these little lines all close together, but I also have to make sure that they kind of curl the way that the bunny's fur would curl around its face. So for example, these fluffy cheeks, I have to keep drawing these little curly lines to draw the fur. Okay. It's gonna make it look super, super fluffy. I'm gonna draw some down here too. Lots of hair and fur. And just keep adding and adding. And as you go, this bunny is going to look more and more like a real bunny because he's going to have fur. Even its ears are going to be fluffy around the outside of its ears and then on the inside of its ears will be more smooth. So I know this would take a long time, but adding these little fur lines is really gonna help show the texture of your bunny and help show the people looking at your picture that this is a very, very fluffy furry bunny. I also want you to think about things you could add to your picture of your bunny that will make you think of springtime or that might be a good background or decoration. So I did this picture yesterday of my bunny and I used marker to color it in. And one of the things that I added to make sure that it looks bright and colorful and makes people think it's springtime, is I also added flowers because now that it's springtime, we're gonna see more and more flowers blooming as well. So I hope you learned something new today about how to show textures in your artwork and how to draw a bunny rabbit. I hope you have lots of fun doing this project at home. Please stay safe and healthy and thanks for watching.